Hello, my name is Tiernan. So I have read a lot of books this year. I'm slightly ahead of my 100 book challenge for the year, but I've been searching and waiting for like a really amazing five star book that's new to me. I was like, when I make my list at the end of the year, which of these books is going to make it? And for a lot of the books I'm reading, it has not been those. I've needed a shift. So I wanted to make this video and talk about Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. Partly because this book fucking slaps and is beautiful and I love it so much. And also because as you may or may not know, this book was recently long listed for the Women's Prize for Fiction and some organizations and turfy gross people on Twitter have been coming forward and denouncing that because this book is written by a trans woman and tackles some really heavy subjects. It is some JK Rowling ass shit. My only hope for that even happening is that it brought some more attention to this book so that the people like um, many people who I'm assuming are watching this video will read it. Consider this and everything I'm about to say my vote towards you reading this book. This is a book that I picked up based on title and cover. It definitely has that kind of color scheme geometric treatment that a lot of adult fiction books are getting lately. And I watched an interview with Tori Peters where for the title she referenced things like Hasta la Vista Baby and in learning what the book is about, detransition, comma, baby. It's like, this is a genius title. Best title ever. The book follows three people. Reese, who's a trans woman living in New York who longs to have a child. Ames, who is a cis man who's recently detransitioned from being a trans woman and was dating Reese during that time. Ames is now seeing Katrina, who is his boss, and Ames has just gotten Katrina pregnant. Ames comes to Reese and asks if Reese would like to raise Katrina and his child with them. And it's so chaotic and messy and amazing. An overwhelming feeling I had reading this book was this is so messy in all the best ways. The title really captures the chaotic, <laughs> messy nature of the story. I mean, even what I just said is, you know, the premise, but so much goes down. We have some flashback chapters. We see Ames when he was living as Amy. Reese definitely sets the tone as the protagonist, but Amy as Ames sometimes also kind of takes it over as kind of the center point between Reese and Katrina. It's tricky, it's unique, it's the kind of thing you could go through weeks of brainstorming on and not come up with what Tori Peters did with it. It's like a once in a year kind of book as a reader. I, as a cis person reviewing this book, can't really talk about how authentically trans it is. I can certainly appreciate how this is the kind of book only Tori Peters could have written. She really lets us in on some shit that the trans community experiences from a very emotional perspective, from having to go to your friends' funerals when they commit suicide to just, you know, the way you perceive other people perceiving you, the lack of clarity that comes with adulthood, being queer and being trans. And it's not in a romanticized way. The numbness of it is also addressed beautifully. It's just not a pretty book with answers. It's a book that brings everything forward, forces you to deal with it, asks some really hard questions in really unique ways. Every single chapter has pretty much at least one really show-stopping line or moment for me. Katrina is a character who's been through a divorce and towards the end of the book, um, Reese narrates this part about how um, divorce is a transition story and there's a long quote about it. The reframing of your life and how um, you know, what you've known since girlhood basically has failed you. I was able to bookmark other ones. At what point, she wonders, does a mother go from wanting a child to wanting this child, her child? When does that transformation occur? How is it, Reese wonders, that a bunch of New York men wearing flannel and slamming whiskey in a cabin is seen as sorely needed release of their barely tamed and authentic manliness, but when she, a trans, delights in dolling up, she's trying too hard. Another part of this book that I think has been referenced quite a bit is the sex in the city problem. As you enter your mid-30s, women either find a partner and become a Charlotte, have a career, become a Samantha, have a baby and become a Miranda, or express themselves in art or writing and be a Carrie. I never watched Sex in the City, but I enjoyed that very much. She ties it to the futurelessness that can come with 
a trans identity during that time as youth sort of ends. This book is just so good. It is such a pleasure to read. For me, it was like right in line with my taste, but then very different from all the other books I read. So I think that's also part of why I just loved it so much. And now I'm going to be guns blazing about it because the Women's Prize is going to award it. And fuck everyone and every organization writing open letters and tweeting about how Tori Peters does not deserve that because this is one of the most well-written books I've read in a very, very long time. And I'm going to read every novel that Tori Peters publishes forever and ever. So fuck you. Oh, and bonus for me is that, you know, Chicago is a small part of this book. They go on a work trip, but I know that Tori Peters has like a bit of a Chicago background. So those are my thoughts on Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. If you're not sold, then be sold and go buy it and support this book and read it. Come back and comment and we'll discuss even more. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tiernan. Links to everything will be below. Have a good one. Goodbye.